What's the category? Um, let's say. Um, is it wound up? Yeah. Okay. Indian movies. Okay. Well, and if you don't know like the name, right, you, you could say like, oh, it's this film that you know starts with this letter. Okay. okay. Just explain what you're saying. Got it. Uh, Indian films. Here we go. Okay. Well, my first. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Ahead. Okay. Um, header. Press. Uh, Great Indian Kitchen. DDLJ. Uh, K3G. Padmavad. Um, Omkara. Baji Ramaswamy. Um, Amir Bar Anthony. Lunchbox. Um. Chow balls. Mom. Chow balls. Um. The the new Ranveer Akshay film. That's <laughs> it. No, I you got You suck! I got that one. No, go. you didn't. Keep it just go. dung! Keep going, I got it. It dung! It's because I had to explain it. Keep going. This is how he wins. He cheats like the Boston Red Sox. Idiot. You, you completely lost. What a moron. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up, Corbin. Go Yankees. And he calls You understood all that, right? Everything. Today, we when got... you play that backwards and slowly, it means nothing. Exactly. Uh, this is actually a something from Netflix India, but this is called Best Dosa in Bangalore. And this is part one. The best. This is going to suck. You know why? Why? I'm going to get hungry. Yes, but this is apparently a kind of a vlog with whoever this is, but also Kana Gill and Kenny Sebastian. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, but it, apparently there's two parts. We're just doing the first part today, and then we'll, we'll because it's 20 minutes, uh, kind of kind of vlog style. But uh, if it's them eating food and being funny, I think it's going to be yes. Yeah. I think it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Absolutely. Um, and this was highly, highly looking requested. forward to it. So, looking uh, forward to. It. Oh, I got so excited. Why did I unplug mm, the battery? Dosa. I'm very excited for you guys to have you. <laughs> Hi, you talking like that? Hi. Hey. How's it going? And welcome back to yeah. Hand Gesture. We're in Bangalore, and, and it's fun. We're gonna eat some food. Uh, we're gonna go to four restaurants. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? My what? name is Nikhil, and you're watching Menu Please. And this is Menu Please. Hey, guys, my name is Nikhil Kini, and you're watching Menu Please, the show where we go around the city and try the best Indian food. We've had many dishes in many cities, but the time has come for us to eat the dish of destiny. I'm talking about dosa. And what better place to do this than a city that has shaped not just my life, but the lives of my guests. That's right, baby. We're in Bangalore, Nama Bangaluru, and today we're going to go to two traditional and two gourmet restaurants in a two-part four dosa <laughs> culinary adventure that will decide once and for all, is dosa mankind's greatest invention? My guests today <laughs> are actually my buddies, Kanan Gill and Kenny Sebastian. They're two of India's finest stand-up comedians. They're Bengaluru. Agreed. Boys. This is where they grew up. This is where their career started. So let's get them in. If he has a Bangalore accent, it's very back. similar to both awesome. of theirs. Always, buddy. We never left, man. I can hear Bangalore if they have a certain accent. Four restaurants, four dosas. Do you think we get bored? No. You're talking about a normal day. Right. <laughs> then let's go to the food mobile. Hello, friends. Machas. Does. Do you guys still say da? Of no, course. It's not it's involuntary. Once in a while you meet someone who says ra and all, you're like, whoa. How do you feel about that? Some OG. <laughs> you asked them to leave Bangalore. You can do this whole episode talking straight Bangalore. What was it like, the transition from Bangalore to Bombay? Because I know how difficult it was for me. Yeah. Bombay is great for work. I couldn't have done China if I was in Bangalore. No. The turnaround period is insane. Okay. I can call some four guys for cameras. Call a venue like tomorrow. I'm on the venue. So like, damn, this is a Bombay works. Me in no. Bangalore, one month and all, you have to be like, sir, I'm not in town only. I will record. Everybody works so hard, and you have to because rent is so high. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I kind of moved. Was it like breaks you apart, dude, Kenny? And we're gonna see that in you in a few years. Yeah, this, this is, is just like the beginning. I believe you. So. It has begun, and I feel it. No, no, no. no. You will know. No, it gets worse than this. Someone will come to you and say, "Is everything fine?" And that's you know. Oh! <laughs> 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 wow, that's It started bad. happening to me like one year after moving. Like, yeah. Is everything okay? So I'm like, yeah, I'm having a good time. <laughs> And the friends came to see me in that comic. Yeah. So they came, are you okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was sure. like, I'm fine. <laughs> but luckily now, I'm re of, like, not re, 
I you able to recenter and like restructure my life. He just picks up any word that's close. Because that sounds wise to me. So he wants to say restructured, okay? But reupholstered comes first. He reupholstered my life, and you're like, you know, and that kind of works. Take it, yeah. Kind of what still like grounds you to the city? All my school friends are still here, and so we do this thing where I'll always get a hotel room, and then we sit and we order dinner and we eat at the dining table. Why don't you meet at some? It's become our thing. What did you guys do before? Like there's like one or two. Pubs that we used to go to. You just go to Picos, and then you walk down the road to Tibetan Plaza, and you go to Taste of Tibet. Ah, uh, I used to do this corner house and all. Oh, yeah. corner house. Yeah. Looking yeah. simple. Yeah. Can you the first time I saw you? I was in tenth or eleventh grade. What? In like 2011 or 2012, friend of mine came up to me. Uh, friend of Birdman Bardwaj. Uh, I I don't know why. <laughs> Shout out to. Him. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Birdman. Bird. I don't even know why we call him Birdman. And he's like, uh, yo, watch this. And I, I look at it, and it's this video of young Kenny with like an AI Iron Man oh, phaser oh, armor. I took my uh, bathroom pipe and all. There was like a light fitting, and I put it. And the best part is my dad. By that time, I was so used to it. I was taking a light fitting, and they go to that for. I said, for a video, he's like, okay. Um, what about you? When did you fall in love with YouTube? I started watching YouTube as soon as I got broadband. I find like really obscure sketch comedy channels, and that's how I started loving sketch comedy. I was like, okay, so this is what I want to do, and then uh, I got a job in software. <laughs> <laughs> Quit his job. He said six months I have to figure this out, or I'm going back to my job. And that's when he did pretentious. This one I realized we've been telling different stories about how we started. The <laughs> one version it was my idea, and this version it was his idea. <laughs> I think it actually was Kenny's idea. <laughs> what? Yeah. So I think both of us were discussing a movie, mm -hmm. and then you were like, "Hey, this one you guys should do this." And when did like stand up become a concept? Or so Kenny, I think started doing stand up a little bit before I did. I did before, but I was not as regular with it. Uh -huh. There was a stand up comedy competition, <laughs> and I saw Karan perform. He used to be fully hyper, and he used to keep moving around the stage, yeah. which is cool because I was the only one who did that before. Uh, yeah, and he he had so much more energy back then. Insane energy. You know, the, I can't hear you, bit. <laughs> oh, I was really bad, dude. <laughs> I'm like, you make some noise. Then I say, I can't hear you. Then I say, MCs always have to ask you everything twice because E equals MC squared. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> oh wow, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Times from MC. Oh. And you watched stand up before? Yeah. Like, were you already a oh, stand -up? massive stand up? Oh. Stand on YouTube. I grew up watching no. Who's Line, Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first saw Seinfeld. When the break came, yeah. he used to. Come on stage and do jokes, yeah. and I'm like, why is the whole show this? Yeah. I used to wait for him to do the jokes, <laughs> and then I later found out that is stand-up comedy. Do you have like a routine when you come back to Bangalore? Like, I have to have a death by chocolate. No, I have to have a dosa. Like, I'm not making this up because today's episode is dosa. <laughs> Best thing about Bangalore is you can go to any restaurant mm -hmm. and have a dosa, and be incredible. All right, so we've reached Gandhi Bazaar in South Bangalore. We're going to Vidyati Bhavan. Oh, I'm very excited because uh, I actually did my college in Vidyati Bhavan. In Vidyati Bhavan. Oh. Yeah. Yes. I studied dosa making. Let's do this. <laughs> oh. You could also have a dosa in uh, New Delhi. Remember when we had a dosa in New Delhi? Man, did you see that carry? Welcome to yeah. Vidyati Bhavan. Good to have be you here. guys been here before? Yeah, I have. unfortunately I have not. I have. Were you a Vidyati when you came here? <laughs> Because um, I went to college right here, and this is, a, this is where we used to come to all the time. Like really, really good. We used to come here after IIT tuitions. You went to IIT tuitions? Like I didn't, but I was one of the. <laughs> and it's so particular that there's always a queue outside. Yeah. You need yeah. to wait your turn. That's another thing in Bangalore, right? Huh. In other places you can sit and chill, and after you're done with your meal, huh. here it's not like that. You finished your meal, please leave. Good. Do you have a Yeah. Slap of dosa. It is dosa butter. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Breakfast of champions is dosa. Oh. Oh, it's coming. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh. It's thick. I know it's crispy, dude. It defies the laws of dosa physics. This is the best. This thick crispy dosa is my favorite. Wow. Oh, man. When you get the pyramid dosa, do you like immediately fold it, fan it, maintain it? Yeah, that's very good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You know, sometimes in Bombay, like I'll have a decent dosa, like out of the blue. Like sometimes, I'll be like, wow, it's good. 
Oh, that's oh, that's so good. The inside is soft. How are they doing this? Can they ever find out? Never. It is good. It's like two dosas in one. It's like a tacky dosa covered by a crispy dosa. But you don't wow. taste the gap. Yeah. It's, it's seamless. Like an OLED display. Turning over a aluminum. Looks amazing. It looks incredible. The temperature is such. You want something between a thin blanket and like a quilt? If you have this. Yeah. Yeah. What is your opinion on chutneys? We were very divided. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys starting a race for us yeah. in the comments. Firstly, I like a drier chutney, a dry thick white chutney, a mystery green curry chutney. Wow. wow. Sambar. And sometimes for a twist, that peanut dry chutney. Oh. And you should have at least like ten powders that you don't know what they are. Forty and all though. Hmm. I think it's just extra fan fan. Then you get this dosa and now no forty in it. No, no, don't, 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 don't this. Right. So do you feel like a scientist? The worst thing that happened after that, then they have like ten powders. Then you're like, what can I make with this? I like chutney with sticks. But they usually have like gutty chutney. I am missing samba though. I wish there was samba to dip this in. And I like sweet samba. You like sweet samba? I like. Sorry, I I scream, but why? <laughs> 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 I don't even know what they mean. I finished all my other items. So chuma in the middle of conversation. No, I thought you guys not gonna eat it, dude. What do you mean, man? Kesi baat, bro. Kesi baat is such a classic. It's so simplistic. It's optimal design. You taste the heat. Where's the best dosa you've ever had so far? Or when it's like refrigerated. Yeah, you're right. Obviously, we haven't been to South. We're going to three more restaurants, dude. Dude, the the place the in in Kolkata, Kolkata. that Indrani took me to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that on your own? It did. It looked, it looked a little like on your own. Just can't help but improv. Exactly. <laughs> it's too much in their DNA. <laughs> So we've just been watching a bunch of your videos, Kenny. But do you miss those days where you could just make anything and not worry about like how people are gonna perceive it? It was all for you. It's so funny. Back then, I just wished people would see it. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm like, I wish people would not scrutinize everything. I would obviously be for you, Dilai. That's funny. If you don't like it, it doesn't crash my soul like it used to. When is this transition happening? It was gradual and slowly I became disillusioned with the personality sales mm. establishment. Right? Oh. That's what we do. Mm. We sell personalities, mm. not content. Mm. Before, if an artist put out something, that's all you knew about them. Mm-hmm. But now, if you make a movie, you're like, I'm such a fun person, as you can see on talk shows. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you want to see a fun person's movies? It's not even about the product anymore. I started huh. liking the yeah. personality of the comedian more. Mm-hmm. Back then, I only liked the jokes, and that's more enjoyable because there's more context and there's more layers. Because it's impossible to just like a joke anymore. I think we're a lot more jaded now when it comes to a joke or a kind of content. Because you're like, when it starts, you're like, I've seen this before. But I think over time, we actually start liking things that are more stupid. Every time you open mic and a joke works, I'm equally surprised. I'm like, oh, thank God. So, Karan, you were the, one of the first people that hit a viral uh, format in Pretense's movie reviews. Right, right. And then you stopped. Movie reviews, as much as people liked it, was an excruciating process for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, so but this guy enjoyed? Enjoy not one second. <laughs> wow. Well, you asked to watch, asked to watch bad movies. We talked and we laughed and I edited and night was done. Mm-hmm. After that, I put so much pressure on myself that we would do one reshoot, two reshoots, three yep. reshoots. I wouldn't mm-hmm. sleep for a week. If we keep doing this, we will be these guys. When you uh, please people too much, they really love you, but they don't want you to do anything else. Mm-hmm. And they also get bored of you really fast. The thing that's amazing is that people still like it so much. What I saw from far was 
how Biswa and Kanan got clubbed together. Mm-hmm. If he did a show alone, mm-hmm. they became where's Biswa? And if Biswa did a show, like where's Kanan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but <laughs> if you're an artist, you're like. I am here. Huh. Listen to myself. <laughs> Looking back, how how different is it? Like open mics now. I don't know. I have a very uncle reaction. First of all, we should respect the minutes again. Huh? And come there for a reason. You're gonna repeat the same joke you did last week. It gives us a lot of summer. Okay. Cults are formed where you're trying to make other comics laugh, which will get you nowhere in your career. Mm. Just make the audience laugh. If this <laughs> is something that you're thinking about, you should do every possible kind of creative thing <laughs> that you want. As soon as you can, especially if you haven't started yet, it's the best time. Yeah. Because no one expects anything from you, so do everything. Also, you've been doing this for so long. Do you feel like we should stop? <laughs> We're in Malaysia, guys. We reached CTR, which is actually called Shree Sagar, which is previously known as Central Tiffin Room, and that's the abbreviation. They serve a very different kind of dosa, kind of similar. And today we're going to try it out and see which dosa we like better. <laughs> That was good. That's coming back one more time. Minimalist, packaging, artful. The structural integrity is still maintained. Oh my god. Should we do a drop test? <laughs> what is what is that? Oh, is that what it is? They just said. Wonderful. Still the same? Oh man, it's so good. Man, this is also damn good, dude. Is it too early to call a type of person? Oh my god. They've gone harder on the crisp. The crisp rock. Oh no. Crisp. <laughs> 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 Took me a second. Different, but awesome. Different. How do you find this dose are different from Vijayati's dose? It's like they're two brothers that did it first. Yeah, then you nail it. You nail it. They're pretty much the same school of thought. Yeah, it is the one brother that grew up on the streets, so it has street smarts. The other brother who was raised with a lot of like love and care. And so in the end, they will both meet today in this show. Mana, brother, brother. So happy. They just can't help it. Why your cow and daughter are sad? But then I've had a hard life. But then a hard life has taught me very important lessons. You've not met our father because you were on the street. My father used to say that all the hardship makers can speak. And this, if we were not exposed to that, would be a plain dosa. Masala dosa. Brother, I love you. Let's go to MTR and laugh at them. As far as the process concerned, like, have you sort of found your way, like the way in to getting a bit? You need to give yourself time, and you need to have a very good mechanism to counter it in order to get it. Okay, if both those things are in place, creativity is better. What about you? What What is your process? So, if right now I get an idea, I'll write it down. Cause I'm like, I know if I sit down, nothing comes. Okay. So just be always vigilant. If you try to write down like a whole bit, then nothing comes. Okay. But usually you get like bullet points. I get a beginning, middle, end usually because I know I can make up stage. When you have to bomb for so long, and then it becomes good. But I want to know like how is it different for you starting out in Bangalore? All comics from Bangalore tend to have very universal bits. Bangalore trained me to make jokes that anyone can understand. The thing about the time that's hard to recapture. I had no goal in stand up except to get better at stand up. There's a lot riding on it now. If a thousand people are coming, I can't do a bad show for a thousand people. Innocence is not. You know what I mean? There's one joke I wrote for this special, which Karen mocked me. He said a bit about birds. And then I came off stage and then Karen was like, really? And I was like, you make it please. I was like, it took me four years, but I got that joke right. And now it's in the special. <laughs> Why did you come back to this city? It's funny, when I went to Bombay, mm-hmm. people told me I had an accent. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't have an accent. Like, yeah, you have a Bangalore accent. People still tell me that. Yeah. yeah. So I sometimes feel like 5% of the laughs are mm-hmm. coming from. That's so funny how he's talking. Mm-hmm. Even on the Bangalore, that 5% are not there. Ah. They're like, oh, you're not like us. I just feel there's like a direct mental connection. <laughs> 
having worked together for so many years, I've noticed you guys tell each other everything. Like we have very similar tastes, but fundamentally different outlooks to stand up. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to learn mm -hmm. from each other's approach. As I said, I do most of it on stage, mm -hmm. and I see how beautifully tight and rewarding a special guest. Because kind of after it's done, the show we make notes. Okay. He'll reconnect, he'll reposition, he'll change your orders. Okay. I don't do that level of introspection after the show. Either. It's been incredible watching you guys go from Bengaluru boys uploading their YouTube videos to having a Netflix special. Thank you very much. But well, the time has come. We've had two traditional dosas. Oh. A very hot debate. Which dosa is better? Vidyati Bhavan, CTR. I will rate the dosas on three metrics. Good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Chill. Why is more chill? This is good, and that is nice. So pick one. Get out of the two. Yeah. Come at me. Let's just not say that loud. I like this also. Why do you like that one? Better. Agreed. Time and check. You didn't give us an answer, man. And I feel like it's easier. Yeah. Okay, fair. We had two traditional dosas. We should go over a nap. Yeah, a dosa nap, like you know. Yes. Yes. Except there are two more dosas waiting for us. And what? these dosas are modern twists on dosa. Exactly. Going against our culture. So you're ready <laughs> for the dosa adventure to continue? Yeah. Let's do it. Bollywood songs have bastardized the pure and correct usage of chumma. What is a dessert against dodo? I don't like mint. Oh. Except in someone's mouth. There you go. I lived with them for two years. Very, very months. specific <laughs> use for mint. Ah, that was good. I didn't actually expect to learn so no, much about, about them, them in in the thing. I thought they were just going to go around and eat dosas, and that was almost just secondary yeah. to uh, to learning about them. And it's actually no shock that they're they l improv and comedy is just so much a part of them most, that they just can't stop it. It's most stand up comics yeah. for that way, especially where the ones that improv. Yeah, they're on they're on a roll. I, I mean, the quintessential example, obviously, is Robin was non stop. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he would he just, not shut down. Um, but, but most but comics, like, when you get Will Smith or like Kirsten Wig together, uh -huh. I think they just can't. Or like Steve Carell, yeah, I feel like they just can't help but like be funny and improvise. Did you say Will Smith? You meant Will Ferrell. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a difference. No, it's true. They can't help but do that it's just that's where their brain goes and so it's just how they think and process i go in and out of that mm -hmm. I, I get in certain grooves where it's going 100 miles an hour and it feels like every single thing i think of can be funny and then there's mo most of the time uh, it's just it's just not there most stand-up comics are there all the time yeah in a constant state like that and it's interesting i talked about how they go about writing their jokes dave Chappelle said that one of the ways he writes his jokes is he'll come up with a punchline and then figure out a way to make the joke funny with that punchline. Interesting. Like he did that in his stand-up special and he said, I came up with this punchline and then I kicked her in the pussy. <laughs> so now I got to figure out a joke that makes that punchline funny. And he writes, he'll just write a punchline and stick it in a, a bowl. And then he'll come back to it later and he'll grab a punchline and write a joke for that punchline. It's so crazy how... how Obviously, it's just like anything uh, in, in yeah. baseball. There's many different ways you can swing. Yep. There's many different ways you can pitch. Yep. And none of them are wrong. Right. Uh, as long as it gets you to the place that you need to go. Exactly. Um, and that's with any art, like acting. Daniel Day-Lewis does what he does. Exactly. That doesn't mean everybody needs to do what Daniel Day-Lewis does. Most people probably shouldn't. Absolutely. Uh, I, I, even I, though I, it works, like, I think it's universally known. He's probably the greatest actor ever. Yeah, <laughs> but that doesn't mean you have to do what Not you at do all. in a certain way. Great example. We're in Johnny and I right now. We're watching. Um, we we paused it. She'd never seen. You may not have ever seen it. It's a great film. It's an old film called On Golden Pond. It stars Henry Fonda and Catherine Hepburn and Jane Fonda. And she had not. She didn't know about Henry Fonda. And Henry Fonda, I, I gave the comparison. I said, so Henry Fonda is one of the greatest actors that there's ever been. But he would be the bridge from like the. Classic films because he did 12 Angry Men. He did Grapes of Wrath. He'd be what you consider naturalism. He's just natural all the time. Yeah. Ear fun, natural. Yeah. Not shape-shifting or method like a Brando or a, a, DD, a Daniel Day-Lewis. Um, but no less brilliant. Yeah. He's always Henry Fonda, but 
he's always brilliant. And it's that way with stand-up comics. They, they don't have the same approach. The, the thing most stand-up comics do best is they're genuine. It's one of the things that Jim Carrey's talked about. I wonder if he has regrets about because he created a persona yeah. that he clearly it got him where he wanted to go. But I think if he were to go back and do it, he might choose to do it a little different because yeah. he felt in not as genuine. Yeah. And he had to come out of that skin. He was driving him crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And good for him. And also those dosos looked amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh, I would love to go to either of those places. And I, I feel like even though we've had Dosa, we haven't really had Dosa until Agreed. we actually go to some place like We're, Bangalore or yeah. some place in the south of India that we can have a real Dosa experience. Yeah. Um, because they looked amazing. Dosa's amazing. Oh, it's it's best Dosa I had is probably <sighs> the one we made uh, on on my channel. Well, I got I our but, landlady made it really oh, yeah, gorgeous. I bet that was amazing. It is now without. If someone asked me, what would be your if you could have one thing for breakfast? For the rest of your life. Dosa. Interesting. Dosa. I would miss some other things. Mine would be s'mores pop tarts. I'm not a big I'm not a big <laughs> breakfast guy. I mean I always eat something, but mostly because I have to. Yeah. And I love eggs. Like I eat eggs five days a week usually in some form. Yeah. Uh but yeah, dosa man. And not <sighs> sorry. What? What? <laughs> That's almost, it was so bad. What did you say? I didn't even hear what you said. <laughs> You said I love eggs, and I said not just in dry. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Oh, there's a whole lot I can do with that line. Oh man. Anyway, yeah. Oh. Have have doses for breakfast, kids. Huh, huh, huh. Anyways, that was good. We'll yeah, watch good stuff. The second part. Second part. Don't worry. Uh, we will get to it. Uh, hopefully, Netflix. Sometimes they block. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they unblock. Sometimes they don't. We'll see. Uh, but that was fantastic. I would love to be able to actually have Kenny and Kana yeah. on and have them be our dosed. Yes, absolutely. Because, uh, love to talk I think to them. They're absolutely hilarious people. Anyways, let us know what other videos we should react to down below. Just